When I hear Rado, two things immediately come to mind. The first thing is ceramic. Rado styles itself as the master of materials, the brand having introduced the world's first scratch-proof watch in 1962, as well as pioneering the use of high-tech ceramic in the 1980s. The second thing I think about is the Rado Captain Cook. Also making its debut in 1962, the Captain Cook was one of the world's first modern dive watches. Boasting a unique angled bezel and oversized hour and, it's one of the most underrated dive watch designs out there. These days, I also increasingly associate Rado with skeletonized watches, with the Swiss brand's expansive range featuring literally dozens of skeletonized, open worked, and open heart timepieces. You can see where I'm going with this. The Rado Captain Cook high tech ceramic skeleton is all three of these things brought together in a sporty, cohesive and eye-catching package. First of all, let's talk about its case. Measuring up at 43mm in diameter, the Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton's case is crafted from a single piece of matte olive green high-tech ceramic. One of the main advantages of ceramic, of course, is not just its scratch resistance, but also its light weight. So, despite this above average diameter, it's actually a fairly sprightly watch on the wrist. Rado has paired this olive green ceramic case with a matching olive green circular brushed ceramic insert for its unidirectional diving bezel, with that green framed by bezel knurling in PVD rose gold. The handset, loom plots and crown are also PVD rose gold. Now, the Patriot in me really likes this green and gold combination which seems particularly appropriate for a watch called the Captain Cook, but you don't have to be an Aussie to appreciate this Rado's colour scheme. The olive green is subtle, vegetal and organic, while the gold highlights add a touch of luxury and complement the gold accented components of the movement that's proudly on display. The Rado Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton is available with two different strap options, a rubber strap with a texture that evokes a Milanese bracelet, or a full olive green ceramic bracelet with a titanium butterfly clasp. Like the watch's case, it's uniformly matte and features a pleasant three-link design. So, to the movement. Under a smoked sapphire crystal lies the Rado Caliber R808, a higher grade version of the Swatch Group's popular Powermatic 80 movement that's designed with improved accuracy and beauty in mind. The R808 in the Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton is nicely finished on both sides of the movement. With a Cote de Genève finished rotor and a rose gold coloured brushed centre wheel bridge, particular highlights. An exhibition case back helps you admire the R808 from both sides of the watch too. Now, just to go back a second, what do you think about that smoked sapphire crystal dial? Now, I think it looks quite good, but it's also admittedly a bold move to obscure a watch's movement after you've gone to the effort of skeletonizing it. Even if that smoke effect doesn't really hide the movement. But hey, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Adjusted to five positions rather than the usual three, the R808 in the Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton features an anti-magnetic Nivacron hairspring, an 80 hour power reserve, and helps this dive watch achieve a 300 meter water resistance rating. That's three big boxes checked right there. A weekend proof power reserve, a proper dive watch water resistance, and elevated finishing. There's a lot to like with the Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton. The Rado Captain Cook high-tech ceramic skeleton is available now and is priced at 7,450 Australian dollars. In my opinion, that's a pretty competitive price point. There are few watches with movements as tastefully skeletonized as this Rado's at this sort of price and fewer still in ceramic with the sorts of tool watch credentials it brings to the table. Also, while you're pondering this Rado's value proposition, it's the perfect time to subscribe to Time & Tide if you haven't already. Until next time, don't be a stranger.